So the Democrats want open borders. Let everybody come in. Let everybody pour in. We don't care. Let them come in from the Middle East. Let them come in from all over the place. We don't care. We're not going to let it happen. And by the way, today I signed an executive order. We're going to keep families together, but the border is going to be just as tough as it's been. <laughs> Democrats don't care about the impact of uncontrolled migration on your communities, your schools, your hospitals, your jobs, or your safety. Democrats put illegal immigrants before they put American citizens. What the hell is going on? <laughs> illegal immigration costs our country hundreds of billions of dollars. So imagine if we could spend that money to help bring opportunity to our inner cities and our rural communities and our roads and our highways and our schools. So we've already started the wall. We got 1.6 billion. The wall has been started. San Diego and lots of different places. And we go, but boy, it's tough. They want to do anything they can to obstruct and to make sure it doesn't happen. But it's happening. It's happening. Oh, we have a single protester. There we go. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, darling. So we have a single protester. He's going home to his mom. Say hello to mommy. And tomorrow, the fake news will say tomorrow, massive protests at the Trump rally. One person. Massive protests. Ay, ay, ay. So we're going to make it great for Americans, and we're going to take care of people. And we do want people coming across our border, going through our ports of entry. But we want people to come in through merit, not just through luck or happenstance. We want them to come in through merit. And we need people. Because we have so many companies now, and you know very well in Minnesota what's happening. They just gave me a run through. What's happening in Minnesota is incredible. But we have so many companies moving back into our country. We need people to help, but we want them to come in through the merit system, not a system where we get MS-13 and everybody else that other countries don't want. And the Democrats' open border policies have also allowed MS-13 to break into our country and drugs to pour into our streets, and we're stopping it. We have taken out of our country, and actually, can you believe I have to say this, we have liberated towns, liberated, like, like it was captured by a foreign country. We have liberated towns out in Long Island. MS-13 gangs. We have taken them out of our country by the thousands. And these countries that send them back, we're putting in legislation. We're not giving them any more aid when they send people up. Remember the original speech, right? My original speech. They are sending. You remember those words? Everyone said, oh, how terrible. They are sending. Well, let me tell you, they're sending. And they're not sending their finest, that I can tell you. And we're sending them the hell back. And what we're doing, what we're doing, we give hundreds of millions of dollars of aid to countries. We have a horrible deal, as an example, with NAFTA and Mexico. Horrible deal. 
They make over $100 billion on that horrible trade deal where factories were emptied, so many bad things have happened, and we're going to make it a part of NAFTA because you have to mark up thousands of miles coming through Mexico. You come up thousands of miles coming through Mexico, and we're going to stop it. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Go home to your mom, darling. Go home. Get them out of here. Out. Was that a man or a woman? Because he needs a haircut more than I do. Cool. Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. Needs a haircut. But the media never talks about the American victims of illegal immigration. I know them well. I know so many of them. I campaigned with them. What's happened to their children? What's happened to their husbands? What's happened to their wives? The media doesn't talk about the American families permanently separated from their loved ones because Democrat policies release violent criminals into our communities. We need safety. We need safety. They don't bring cameras to interview the angel moms whose children were killed by criminal aliens who should have never been here in the first place, not even close. They don't want to talk to the angel moms. But as your president, I will always fight to protect American families. Always. I will always fight for an immigration system that defends our borders and takes care of our sovereignty as a nation. I will never sacrifice the safety and security of the American people. And I will never be silent in the face of vicious smears and attacks and the heroic agents and officers of ICE and the Border Patrol who save millions, just the job they do save thousands and thousands of lives and are so brave and are so tough. If you want to create a humane, lawful system of immigration, then you need to retire the Democrats and elect Republicans to finally secure our borders. Because we need Democrat votes. We have a majority of one in the Senate. We need Democrat votes in the Senate. We need additional votes in the House. We will have the greatest borders, the greatest walls. We've already started, but it's a lot tougher than it needs to be. We need Republicans to get out and put Republicans in. In case, uh, in case you don't know, in the Senate, we need, unfortunately, 60 votes. We have 51 votes. We need Democrats. They will do anything to obstruct, anything to make it as uncomfortable as possible, because they think it's good politics. I actually think it's bad politics. We will see very soon. We're building it. We're building the wall.